Hi everyone, this is Sarun and Balakrishnan. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use screener.in. Right now, I have an account in screener, which I have logged in. So once you log in, you will actually find a user interface, like the one that you're seeing in the screen, where you have three different options, feed, screens, and tools. In this video, we are going to explore how to use these basic features so that we can filter out the stocks that might be of potential interest to us. First one is called the feed. In feed, you will have actually the companies that you can add to your watch list. For instance, if you're interested in companies like Infosys, you could actually click add companies where you can enter the company name and click enter and once you have added, you can actually click done. Once you do this, you will actually find the list of latest updates or events that have happened in Infosys. In this way, you could actually keep adding uh, multiple companies to this list so that you can actually stay on top of the news that's ha that are happening in this company. And the second option is something called screens. Screens is nothing but companies that you can potentially filter out based on your preset criteria. So when you click new screen, you can actually enter the criteria that you want. So now in this criteria, I'm going to filter down companies with a market capitalization of greater than 1000 crores and sales greater than 1000 crores. Now when I click run this query, you will actually find the list of companies that are meeting this criteria. So in this, for this query, so I have almost close to 639 results, right? So you could actually even further narrow it down based on different uh, financial metrics or based on uh, the company's market cap position, sales and other metrics that you'd want to use. So that's about search query. So you could actually use the query that you want and uh, filter down companies uh, using different search queries. And tools is something where uh, we could actually customize our search queries. So for instance, you could actually create your own search query like we did now and also filter down companies based on that. And Screener also offers you other queries like uh, export, import, trade data, search shareholders and credit rating reports, which they only give to their premium subscribers. So right now we are using a free account, but if you are investing a lot of money and if you require additional information, which uh, may not be sufficient because most of this information is already available in the stock exchanges. Uh, so where you could actually use this data. So I hope you found this video useful. So I want you to sign up in screener and actually try out these features so that you can filter out the stocks that may be of potential interest to you. So if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel, Saravan and Palakrishnan in YouTube, and click the subscribe and bell icon so that next time when I launch a new video, uh, you tend to get the latest updates. And please feel free to uh, share it with your friends so that everyone uh, benefits. Thank you so much.